Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I'll try to cover some components from the instrumentation set that's in the bottom here. Uh, I'll try to explain the operation of the knob. I'll just quickly drag and drop a knob. And uh, we also have gauges and lamp switches. Uh, for the moment, uh, I'll just focus on the knob. So I'll add three knobs here and the operation that I'm interested in here is that I want to plot a graph on this axis and want to uh, control the attributes using the these knobs. For example, uh, I would like to control the amplitude using this knob I would like to control the frequency using this knob and to the last one I would like to control the phase okay so these are the three uh, parameters of uh, sine wave that I would like to control using these knobs okay I'm not adding any button here and uh, because I, I want to change the plot, update the plot upon um, changing the value of uh, any of these knobs. So I'll start with this particular, the amplitude one. I can set the limit, limits here. These are the limits uh, between which the amplitude is going to change. So I'll, I'll just set this to 10. I don't want to uh, come under 10 and let the upper one is 50. Similarly, I would like to avoid the zero frequency. I'll set it this to 10 and the upper is 100. Similarly, the phase, uh, that's fine. I can change it between zero to 0 to 2, 5 okay so the, these are uh, the limits I have set here now I can create a callback I can right click and uh, value change function callback so here I'm going to put my code so from the amplitude knob whatever I get I would like to call it a and thus in a similar way i would like to retrieve the frequency from the uh, from the other knob that's app dot frequency knob dot value so whatever we set there through our mouse we uh, we, we are actually changing the value property okay and the last one is the phase i'll just call it small p equals to app dot phase knob phase knob dot value so this way we'll get the values from those three knobs and uh, to plot a sine wave, we need a uh, array. I'll just call it T, and it will start from zero, and we'll go with an increment of zero point zero zero one, and I'll go all the way to four static pi. Okay. So now I can plot on that axis. So plot UI app dot UI axis. And then we have T. And then we have the A, the sine function. Uh, that becomes the A times sine of two static pi static 
f static t that's the uh, um, that's the input argument for the sign i'm going to add the phase as well so i'll just type in p okay so um, that's uh, only a few lines of code it will do the job so let's just run this program okay so so plotter app okay so now i can try changing these values and uh, You can see the picture here okay so I can change the amplitude likewise and have a look only the amplitude is changing nothing happens okay here's the thing if I change the frequency for instance you will not observe any change unless I also change uh, also tackle this uh, amplitude now the reason is I have written my code inside the uh, callback function of uh, the amplitude now in order to enable uh, your app to respond to the change in value of other knobs one way is we can uh, create callback function for these guys as well that, that's the way uh, we have done in the one of the previous tutorial that create a different callback uh, we, we already have for the amplitude we can create for the frequency and phase and then we can uh, copy this code but a better way is since we are uh, uh, since we are repeating the same code instead of creating a new callback we'll refer to the existing amplitude knob change value callback what that means is instead of creating a new function the existing function for the amplitude one will be executed even if the frequency or the phase is changed so have a look this is a amplitude is 12 at the moment and if i raise the frequency have a look as i increase the frequency you can see the effect of similarly if i change the phase have a look all right so it's working perfectly fine and uh, that's how you can use uh, the knob